Certainly, as a parent, you're called to teach your kids and to correct your kids at times in the appropriate way. Right? We all know that, right? You have this enormous responsibility to help shape your kids into the persons God the Father is calling them to be. So that goes without saying. At the same time, obviously, it's problematic if your kids start to think to themselves, well, gosh, I'm annoying, or I'm a nuisance, or even worse, I'm a disappointment. I'm a disappointment in the eyes of my mother or father. And this happens all the time. We all kind of know it to varying degrees, right? It's not even simply words, even a look. I come in the presence of my parents, my mother, my father. I can feel the weight of their disappointment. They look at me and all they see are, are things that are wrong with me. How does it affect a kid growing into an adult? There's a certain kind of weight, a certain heaviness which kind of weighs in a person's sense of self. It affects their identity, their sense of self-worth, and by extension, their relationship with God. What you want to do is learn to take delight in your kids. Learn to take delight in your kids. Learn to rejoice in your kids. And to communicate that rejoicing and delight to your children by all means necessary. When you come in my presence, I, I take delight in you. I rejoice in you. I just love being in your presence. I love being with you. It has nothing to do with what you have or what you can produce or efficiency or productivity. I, I just rejoice in you. I take delight in you because you are my beloved son and daughter. You gotta keep in mind that even though God can communicate his love and his grace directly to people, the way he typically does these things is through sacramental realities. Not some of the classical sacraments like baptism and the Holy Eucharist, but through anything in this world which is authentically good, true, or beautiful. Especially through people. So as parents, mothers and fathers, you have enormous responsibility, but also enormous power in this regard. You have enormous power in terms of shaping your kid's image of God as Father.